Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at Luxio today, uh, which is an interesting card um, that might actually have some potential uh, when you combo it with Tapu Koko and Luxray. Pretty good combo. Uh, before we get in the video, I do want to say a few things. Um, one, I finally should be able to my videos be in 60 frames per second now. It's always something that I've struggled with on my channel is mainly because the frame rate um, it's always been kind of bad on a lot of my past videos. I look back at them and it's like, wow, you guys actually watched that. Um, but hopefully they're in 60 FPS now. Uh, one of the reasons why I couldn't do before is because my fan on my MacBook would go really loud and it would just not be good in the mic. Even I couldn't drown it out with music. But I do want to give a shout out to Mr. GNV for hooking me up with um, kind of the idea um, and the way to drown out the fan noise with 60 FPS. Uh, when I'm recording my video. Um, so I will leave a link to his Twitch in the description down below. He's actually also on Card Cavern TCG too, which, yeah, shout out to Card Cavern TCG, the sponsor on the channel, guys, if you ever need to get any PCGO codes for anything, whether it be theme decks, packs like Team Up or Lost Thunder, or you guys are also looking for GX codes for Jolteon or Melmetal, GX or Whaler Magikarp, or you guys want to get the Pika Rom Selby Venusaur deck codes, Card Cavern has them all. Great place to get them. And when you buy something from Kirk Cavern TCG, use discount code KOTO. You have to get a 5% discount on your purchase. Seems good. Shout out to them. So now let's look at the deck. So yeah, we're going to be looking at Luxio today. Now Luxio has some interesting things going for it. It is a lightning type, which means you get to use Electro Power. Um, there's a lot of support with it, with Tapu Koko. Uh, and I'm going to be using Jolteon instead of like Zapdos in this deck. I feel like Jolteon is a better partner. One of the main problems with Luxio is its damage output is really miserable. 30 damage is weak, even with Electro Power and Choice Band, you're only doing 90. Um, I don't think that's that good. Uh, thankfully, we do have Luxray here and Memory Energy, which we're going to be trying to use. We're going to be using Memory en Energy, which provides a colorless energy and allows you to use uh, Luxio's Disconnect Attack when you have Luxray in play. And Luxray is actually decent. It's got technically 180 HP thanks to Intimidating Fang, and even if its attack is Volt Bolt, the Scarlet Light Energy from its Pokemon is really good. And when you combo Volt Bolt, with Thunder Mount and Memory Energy, you only have to get rid of one Lightning Energy, which is really good. We're going to be trying to pull that combo off. We can also use Dance of the Ancients to build up uh, your Volt Bolt again. You also have a Fruit Retreat cost, so Luxray is a very good partner for Luxio. You can use Shinx here to go first. Um, if you go second, um, you can evolve straight into Luxio, get the lock off. Um, this actually speeds up the process getting Luxray in play too. And since the damage output can be kind of wonky, I've just gone with Jolteon as our backup attacker. There's no Zapdos, no Jirachi, no Coco GX in here, no Pika Rom. Uh, we aren't even playing Zero Aura because we don't need it at all. Like, Zero Aura is not needed in this deck um, because everything mostly has a free retreat cost. So, yeah, this is basically my um, Pokemon count. Uh, we're just going Jolteon and Luxray. We're not going to be using any other Lightning types other than just Coco. I am playing one Marshadow. Marshadow is good with Disconnect because you give him a four card hand. Um, and then it's all items, they're screwed. Uh, Luxio does one-shot Zapdos with an Electro Power, which is one of the things I like about it. Um, it's not a GX Pokemon. We could be running Shrine of Punishment in this deck if we really wanted to. But because we attack with Jolteon, I don't think we need Shrine. I think we can get away with just one Thunder Mountain. So now we go into the items. I'm playing Electro Charger for our Electro Powers. Uh, I'm playing Escape Rope and Switch. If we don't start with uh, the Shinx, we need to go into... Uh, we need to go into Luxio, we can switch out. We also have a skateboard to help us pull that off. We start with Coco or Marshadow. I guess we can't do it with Eevee, but you evolve into Eevee, you get the fruit treat. Uh, we are playing uh, Stretcher, of course. I am going three Nest Balls, two Timer Balls, three Ultra Balls. We don't really need to go very insane on the Ultra Balls, considering everything is kind of an evolution. Uh, you can also search out Jolteon with Timer Ball. I like Timer Ball, three Ultra Ball, three Nest Ball. I think it's a good count for your Ball cards. I don't think you need to go four Ultra Balls in this deck. Uh, one Thunder Mountain for our stadium. We can't use Ape of Paradise. Viridian Forest wouldn't be bad in here either, if I'm be honest with you. Uh, we got four Cynthia's, one Air Cristality, two Guzmas, four Lilies, two Kiwis. Kiwi obviously allowing you to 20 more damage. I think that's really useful. Disconnecting. It's pretty good with Jolteon. Also, um, and I'm also playing three Choice Bands for the damage output, one Escape Board. And I've gone with eight Lightning and two Memory Energy. And I'm playing a little bit more Lightning than usual, just for Volt Bolt. Now... I think Volkner could be good in this deck too, as you can see. I ain't running Volkner in this list. Uh, if you want to play a couple Volkners, be my guest. I don't know what you would take out, though. That's kind of why there's no Volkner in here. Is I don't know what you would remove Volkner. I think you have to go 4 forward Luxio. Um, I like having Electro Pad or Electro Charger 
get your electro powers back. It's really important with disconnect. You can also uh, Volt Bolt the active electro powers. I don't know. Folk never be good in here. But yeah, let's go get some games of the deck on PC Geo and watch it in the beautiful 60 FPS. Alright guys, let's go do some games with Luxio. Let's see what we can get going. If we play against Zap, those, that'd be awesome. I don't want this to be the Jolteon show, but we'll see. Uh, we're up against, it looks like, uh, spread maybe. That's not fun. Uh, we'll see though. Alright, we'll go heads on the coin flip, I think. And hopefully the 60 FPS is good. Hopefully all goes well in today's video. And alright, that's actually a pretty good hand. Double Shanks. Pretty good. We got Luxray, Luxio, chillin'. We got Cynthia for turn one. Uh, I might use the Shanks for Ultra Ball bait, though. Let's just pass. Alright, he is playing Zapdos. So, I mean, this is basically as easy as the games get. Uh, we'll do this. Unfortunately, we don't get turn one Luxio. That's fine. I guess I should have just attached the active, but I don't think it matters. There's an Eevee. Uh, no energy, though. That's unfortunate. Um, I think I play it down. I, I don't, I, I'd probably rather just down with Luxio. I think it's pass. Not the greatest start, honestly. We can drop Thunder Mountain, though, and then maybe do Disconnect if we don't find energy here off of Erica. Let's see what he knocks out. Uh, if we can get a Luxio going, though, this is going to be good because we can be able to shut him down. I wouldn't mind maybe running Field Blower in here, though. Because we can get rid of his escape board on Jirachi, and then we can field blow him in the same turn. Then he literally just won't be able to retreat. He'd be relying very heavily on Guzmas, and that's about it. We'll see if he knocks me out here, though. It's gonna Cynthia. Stellar Wish. So he's not gonna Guzma, which is fine. Uh, we can still disconnect, knock him out with Kikui, which I might as well do. If we can find a Luxio. Nope, there's a Guzma. Too bad. He already used Cynthia, though. I think. I'm pretty sure. 100%. Can drop another Jirachi. That's fine. And let's see what he does. He's gonna Marshadow me. Okay, that will get rid of my hand. And that, I did like it because I could have done a lot here with Kikui and Electro Power. But if we can get a better hand, I'll be happy. That works too. We can Ultra Ball away the Kikui in our top deck, get Luxio, Electro Power. No, he's actually gonna knock me out. Okay, that works too then. That's fine, we can still knock out the Zapdos. I think we gotta knock him out Luxio here. He didn't play any escape boards, which is like the best thing about this. So we can get a Jolteon and a Luxio in play. He won't be able to knock out my Shinx. Okay. Um... I think we'll still hit Luxio. Yeah, you know what? I got confidence we'll still hit the Luxio here. Yeah, we can just hold the Ultra Ball. No, we can just hold Okay, we didn't hit the Luxio on the way I want it to. That's fine. We'll get rid of... Probably Energy and QE. I might have... Well, maybe that wasn't the best idea. I think it's fine, though. So, might actually be hard for him to get a Luxio. He does not have any way to play a Skateboard. We'll just disconnect it for the knockout. We'll take our prize. Hopefully we get a supporter. We got another Ultra Ball. We can play that for Jolteon. We can get Luxray down. Luxray's pretty tanky here. We can also set up for Volpul. Volpul can be good. I don't know what we'd be sniping though. There's nothing really to snipe that's worthwhile. Luxray's just a nice way to just smack a big GX Pokemon in the face, like a Rayquaza or a Picarom or Zeraora or Blacephalon. Not as useful in matchups like this. But Luxio will run the show. And we once we get if he doesn't knock me out here, Luxray is gonna be really good. And again, he cannot play Guzma. He can Guzma, sorry, yeah, he can do Guzma. But he can't play an item, so there's literally no way to retreat this thing unless he plays an energy in Thunder Mountain, which if he does that I'm gonna cry. Absol wouldn't be bad in this deck though either, if I'm being honest with you. Like one Absol would actually be pretty clutch. He's actually gonna get Volkner, which Yeah, again he can't switch, so Fine. Yes, Thunder Mountain though, it knocks me out. I'm definitely gonna be in trouble because I'm not guaranteed to get a knockout with Jolteon. So I guess we just gotta hope he doesn't have Thunder Mountain. He's gonna get a skateboard, but you can't play that because you're under item lock. We can QE him, hit him for 50, set him up to be KO'd by Jolteon. That's really good too. Alright, perfect. We can evolve into Luxray here. 
give us more HP. There's a stretcher. Uh, might as well save that. We have Kikui. There's a Jolteon. We got Guzma for next turn. No energy. I guess I can Mar Shadow. Uh, do I want to do that? I don't even know if it's in the deck. I'd rather just wait a turn. He can't retreat. He got the Guzma, which I guess he can like smack the Jolteon, but no, it doesn't matter. I'd rather him not knock out an Eevee. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have all him to Jolteon, but you know, he doesn't get the prize, which I guess can help us a little bit. I don't think he knocked out Jolteon. He's under item lock, so he'd only hit me for 110. But yeah, I'm actually really liking the idea of Field Blower in here, though. Absol or Field Blower would be pretty, pretty good in here. Field Blower, just being able to disconnect and get rid of their skateboards and choice bands would be really good. So yeah, I think this deck could run a Field Blower. There's definitely some tweaks that you can probably make. I do think Volkner is pretty strong in here, but I don't use it in here because you know why I don't want it. Nah, but I do think Volkner would be good in here. Yeah, Field Blower would be kind of good. So he's going to get Guzma, which confirms he is going to hit me here and hit the Jolteon. It's not going to do much for him other than just whatever, but he's not dealing with the Luxray, and the Luxray is the big problem. He's obviously not playing E-Hammer or Plumeria, so Luxray is going to just be uh, just destroying. So we're probably going to have to draw a Marsh out if I don't find much power. We got a Nest Ball that can get us a Shinx. Actually, we can get Eevee. I think Jolteon and well, this Luxray alone can honestly run the show. Ultra Ball. Got Marsh Shadow. I could stretch her, get the Shinx back. Don't need to though. I'd rather save that if he knocks out Jolteon. Jolteon is, again, one of the best things in this matchup. No Electro Power though. We did get Cynthia. We'll escape board. I mean, I don't want to put easy targets for Zapdos to knock it, but I guess we'll try and establish another Shanks. We actually prize Coco. That's good to know. And well, Cynthia, we're really looking for an energy or electro power, which we didn't get. We actually could have knocked him out with Volt Bolt. So no KO here, unfortunately. It's actually kind of that's kind of surprising. I actually didn't find anything. Is there any other attack I can copy? No, nothing. That sucks. But we can still item lock him, so it's still pretty good. If he benches a Zero Aura, we can also try and use that as a Guzma target with Volt Bolt and Toy and Electro Power, maybe. So, he'd want to probably bench that, because again, he can't switch, so he's forced to just hit me for, like, no damage at all. So, this is really good. This is why Luxray is so good at beating Zapdos. It's tanky, it can tank hits, it one-shots with disconnect, shuts down most of what his deck's aiming to do, and that's constantly switch out. So Luxray and Luxio is the perfect Zapdos counter. It's the perfect Zapdos counter. And I love it a lot. This is really good. Uh, if he doesn't have a Guzma here, which even if he does, he's still not even guaranteed not me. He would need Guzma, Zapdos, Energy, 2KO, Shanks, or Eevee, which I'm assuming he would actually target the Shanks. And just no damage, so we're kind of running things right now. We can do this. Um, I am going to attach and just build up that Volpul threat. And we'll Timer Ball, try and get a Luxio down. No heads, Timer Ball, you suck. And uh, yeah, we'll just disconnect him. We can always save the Thunder Mountain for when we want a Volpul, but I don't know if we're ever going to want to break the disconnect lock anytime soon. There's a Luxio, okay. One problem with this deck, we do play four Luxios, so it's like Luxio can be a pretty dead card a lot of the time, and that's not always the best. So if you wanna, maybe any scoops. All right, yeah, I kind of figured he would concede. I mean, we kind of just, we had him like in the perfect like block. And yeah, this is why Luxray and Luxio is so good at countering Zapdos. Zapdos is without a doubt the best matchup this deck can find. There's no nine this deck. Probably just auto wins to Zapdos, um, unless you just get a bad start. But yeah, this deck beats Zapdos pretty easily, and that's uh, showcasing why this deck auto wins on Zapdos. So, see you guys another game. Alright guys, let's go dive into another game with some good old Luxio memes. Don't let your memes be dreams, kids. Um, Alright, we'll see what we're up against. Alright, fighting! Alright. Uh, yeah, this deck takes auto loss to fighting. Pretty self-explanatory there, I don't think we need to go in depth. He's playing Garchomp though, judging from the coin and the typing, this might be Garchomp, which is, I guess, like, okay, because... On a one scale, we will be able to like item lock him out of rare candy. So there might be some salvage here, but if he's playing Lucario GX, I mean, we're screwed. We'd have to like, 
We have to hit so much to KO him, so this is not good. Yeah, Garchomp, definitely not a good matchup. I mean, I guess it's better than Buzzle. I think we just auto lose to Buzzle. This deck auto loses to Fighting Dex. It loses to Zork Lycanroc a lot of the time, too. That's why I like having the Jolteon, though, as a backup attacker. Even though it is weak to fighting, it's like still somewhat decent. But we're going first. That sucks. He may just donk me. I think I just evolve. Hopefully we don't rise anything. I mean, good. I mean, the odds he's playing Marshadow are pretty low. I'm tempted to just hold the hand. I don't want to go into Jolteon and give him free damage output. But I kind of want to save the hand because we can... Potentially just knock out. Yeah, I think I just save the hand. Just hope he might just drop a Diancy and jab me. Then I can knock him out with Head Bowl, maybe then we don't have to deal with Lucario GX. I can also Guzma target down a Gibble. So that's probably gonna happen. Darchomps has enough HP though to take a hit from an Electro Power Head Bolt, so that's a bit of an issue for us. Gonna Acro Bike. I do think this matchup is a little tough. But if maybe we can shut down for playing Rare Candy into his Garchomp, we are okay. Didn't expect to see Garchomp though. We'll see if he gets anything else down. On the board, yeah, Garchomp. It's gonna be hard to take out. He's got an Acro Bike. I guess we can, like, also Luxray, I guess, can hit Garchomp for 150. That's cool. But there's, like, I guess one answer we have, but it's gonna be hard to get Luxray into play. Let's see what we can do, though. Let's see what he uh, is getting here. If he doesn't get any Pokemon, you know, we can probably win the game. I guess he can do Detect, though, if that matters. Then we can disconnect him. No. Let's see what he does. He's gonna Ultra Ball, so he will guarantee a Pokemon. He's gonna get rid of a Lele, and it looks like a Cynthia. Kinda sucks he won't put Lele in play. That's a pretty good card to see for us. He's gonna get a Gibble. So I might just risk the chance that he isn't playing Gar our Lucario GX, and I might just target that Gibble. Um, I could knock out the Riolu, though, with, like, Luxio. But if he attaches to this, I gotta take it out. Garchomp, one of its big weaknesses is that it needs multiple energy to attack and yeah he's gonna attack DC so I think I try and take up the Gibble here. He's gonna Lily for six. Oof. At the very least he got rid of two Pokemon that are good to him. He's gonna choice band onto his Gibble. And he's gonna drop a shine on me. Ugh shine's annoying. That means he can like just Garchomp attack my Jolteon. Well no he had stretcher so he basically got everything he needed. That's a little unfortunate. He did give the Lele back though so that's good. If he ever puts that down, that'd be great. All right, what do we draw? Not Electro Power, though, and I would like to knock out Gibble with this connect. That would be ideal. Though I guess I could knock it out with Swift Front or Head Bolt, which honestly I might have to do. Uh, we can build up Luxio. We can Escape Rope. I think I just try and go for the Electro Power here. Did not find it. All right, we're gonna Ultra Ball then. Get rid of Energy and Timer Ball. We're gonna get Mars Shadow. We have all Electro Powers. They're in the deck. We just need to hit one. So Mars Shadow him. I don't know if he had a Rare Candy Garchomp. If he did, there you go. It's gone. No Electro Powers though. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Wow. All right. Well, that's pretty unfortunate uh, that we weren't able to find the Electro Power to knock him out. That sucks. We got two new hands, not a single E power. Yeah, I hate to see it. I mean, it's gonna be hard to win this game regardless, even if we knocked him out. If he just plops me with Lucario, it's game over. He can't play him, so he can't rare candy into Garchomp. He could just retreat though. No, he's gonna go for an Ascension, it looks like. Okay, that's actually fine. It is also good to note he's down two Cynthia's. That's kind of relevant in a way. He could evolve into Gabite. Did he hit it? I mean, you have to hit the Gabite alone, or I know he did. So he's going to Ascension. We're going to have to try and knock out this Gabite. He's got 80 HP, right? So we just need to hit Electro Power to knock it out. Or draw Kakui. Kakui would be better. Okay, we got an S-Ball. That will give us Shanks, I think. I could have gone Coco, though. I might just have to knock him out Jolteon. Yeah, no Electro Power. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we're going to have to knock him out with Jolteon here. That's fine, though. Do I call his bluff and say he isn't playing Lucario GX? Um, I don't think he is. I'm going to call his bluff and say he doesn't have Lucario GX. Just not hitting our Electro Powers when we need them. And he concedes the match? Wow. 
That's impressive. Did not expect him to concede, though. So I guess he wasn't playing Lucario then, because he probably would have wanted to find it. He doesn't have Lucario. So yeah, we called his bluff, and it paid off. It paid off. So, yeah. Let's go. But six stadiums, bro. Four shines. Oh, that's a lot of stadiums. Oh, there you go. Uh, I guess we'll see you guys another game then with our deck. All right, guys, we're going to do one more game with the deck, probably. Depending on how long it is, of course. Hopefully, we're doing good. But I guess this this deck is fast. That's one thing I do like about it. It is fast. Uh, it can item lock very quickly, hit good numbers with electro powers. So, quick games like that will happen most of the time. Lightning and Dragon. That's a type combo. I don't know what to expect. We will win the coin flip. We're going to let him go first, though, because we want to be able to turn and disconnect him. We're going to mulligan. Revealing, we have Luxray. Not good. So what is he playing? That's the question that I want to know, because he's got a lot of types. Lightning Dragon is a weird combo. We're going to start with Eevee. Oh, yeah. No Shink start. Unfortunate. Uh, I'm fine with going Turmoil Jolteon, though. Turmoil Jolteon is just not as good, but still. Uh, the nice thing I like about this deck is you can either go the Turmoil Jolteon route and be very aggressive with your first attack, snipe some things, or you can get the turn item lock off. So it's like either turn one attacker is still going to be good. That's one of the cool things with this Iker type. So, I really want to know what he's playing. Lightning and Dragon. Don't know what to expect, man, so we gotta be ready. Okay, so yeah, it's... I should've known it was Rayquaza and Picarom. That's fine. Uh, I think Picarom is... Okay, I don't think it's a bad matchup. I don't think it's a good matchup, though. I think it's, like, somewhere in the middle, if I would have to guess. He's got a pretty good start, though. There's a Marshadow, and that's what I don't like to see. But he didn't have much else. Okay. So yeah, we can just hit him hard with Jolteon. So we prize the Luxio, we prize the Shinx, we got our Marshadow, Thunder Mountain's here, we got our Memory Energies. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think we just hit him here. Probably just hit the, probably the Marshadow. I'll be honest, I think that's the best target. The Lily for four. The Shinx, perfect. Got Choice Band, we will attach that. And we will Electro Bullet hit the Marshadow, try and get some early damage on that. Soften it up. I guess it's also a good Luxray target, so I guess it's not like you need to hit it, but I would still rather hit it. Let's see if he gets Thunder Mountain full blitz off. The reason I did Lily, by the way, not Cynthia, is because I kind of want to hold this. He's already got four full quantum play. So we can probably knock him out with Headbolt here, which we will be able to do. If he doesn't retreat this, we will Kikui Headbolt knock him out. Even if he full blitzes me and doesn't KO me, we can still Kikui Headbolt him. But it, you would need Electro Power and a, th and a Thunder Mountain to knock me out. Looks like he top decked Lily, unless for some reason you forgot to play that. He finds Thunder Mountain Electro Power. That's going to be a little awkward because we did have the... It's probably the Swift Run knockout, to be honest. That's what I would do. So if he has a knockout here, this is going to be a little unfortunate. But if he doesn't, and he can't retreat this thing, which he can't do if he puts his Zero Aura down, he can. But if he doesn't have one right now, we can knock him out with Swift Run, take three prizes. And I don't know what he can do at that point. That's going to be hard to recover from. You could maybe hit me with Marshadow, but... You can't use Zapdos with Marshadow because uh, Zapdos is attack doesn't affect for weakness. I don't know what other one energy attackers Marshadow can copy. So I'm really hoping we get the knockout on this Pika Rom. I don't think he expects it. I really hope that's the case. I just hope my opponent does not see the knockout coming with Swift Run. Which I think we have to do. I could do Headbolt, just play it safe, and then save Swift Run for a rainy day. But um, yeah, he didn't get it. Nice. So we will Timer Ball first for trying to get Luxios here. Double Tails. Yeah, I hate to see it. The QE. Can we get a Luxio? I really want to get Luxray in play. We did not find one. Alright, I think we just Swift Run him for the knockout then. Just try and guarantee this thing won't take damage. We'll take our three prize cards. What do we find? Electro Power is good. A bunch of supporters and Escape Rope even could be useful. So, yeah. We're chilling. Uh, he's bringing out Marshadow, which is good because we can take another two prizes. And then all we have to do is maybe take out, like, a Marshadow or something. And then we win. We start to build up Shanks. We really need to get Luxio. It really sucks I got double tails there. Timer Ball is such a garbage card. It's good when you hit heads, but when you get double tails, it's like the worst thing on the planet. Let's see what he's going for here. He can do Coco to build up his peak of ROM. He's got two energy in the discard, so if he can bench something, he can double Coco here. Go for that play. He's gonna drop a Lele. I think he's gonna wanna Marshadow my hand away. I mean, look at how big it is. It's a big hand, but not much really to work with. Just a bunch of supporters we can't use. He's actually going to get a Goose on my Shinx, which is cool. 
Uh, we have Boar, we have Rope, we have Guzma. I'll probably just Guzma, to be honest with you, knock out the Marsh Shadow. It's going to go for Tapu Koko. Does he have a Thunder Mountain knockout? That would be very interesting if he does have it. He's probably going to bring out Lele, though. No, he does have it then? Question mark? No, he ha ooh, he has an E switch. Okay. Kinda wish I saved Swift Run now. Yeah, maybe I should have saved Swift Run, but again, I couldn't predict he was gonna pull this combo off. Wow. Alrighty then, what do we draw? Yeah, I hate to see it, it was the last card. Okay, well. He built up Marshadow. I might target that instead. We need to get a Shinx now. We're just gonna straight up lose here. If I kept Swift Run, I would have been okay to not target Marshadow. Our hand sucks too. We're gonna have to Cynthia and hope to find another Pokemon here. At least we know he's not gonna tag bolt me, probably. No Pokemon. Oh my gosh. So that means we lose? Um, do we just lose because we didn't draw any Pokemon? Um, I think we lose. Yeah, we lose, it looks like. Wow. The sit. Oh, man, my hand was so big. And you're telling me I didn't find a single Pope. Wow. That's really unfortunate, man. Should have saved Swift Run. I guess if for some reason he doesn't have game, we can win. But yeah, you hate to see it. No Pokemon. And, yeah, that sucks. That's just awesome. <laughs> that's an embarrassing loss to take. Considering we popped off... That's... That's a that's a, one of the hardest losses I've probably ever had to take on this game. That's embarrassing. Wow. Alright, let's do another game. We had a really good play there, man. Dang, dude. We got betrayed. Our hand was massive... Yet there was no basics to work with, no Ultra Balls, no Nest Balls, no basics at all, no Marshadow, no Coco, nothing. Are you serious? That is some real bad luck, man. We could have won that game too. We had a really good start. We were able to... I'm, I don't know, I'm salty from that loss. Alright, this is probably going to be another Pika Rom game, so we might get some revenge on Pika Rom. My point is with that heart hello, we got to hit him back. And we go first, so we can get Turn and Disconnect. Alright, let's see what we start with here. We're gonna get Marshadow and an Eevee start. I think we gotta go with Eevee. Gotta go with Eevee. My opponent's gonna send a side face though. Okay, interesting. I wonder what he's playing. It's either gonna be Pika Rom or Zapdos. It's Weavile. Alright, it's Spread. Um, spread is always annoying to play against. So we'll see how this goes. Got a Lily top deck. Or, yeah, that looks good. Actually, so it starts with a Coco. Hmm. I mean, the good thing is we might not bench that many Pokemon. Luxray does have a good ability against the Spread also, in a way. But Spread is just not fun to play against, in general. Um, see what we can draw? i probably just go for the Jolteon, though. Alright, just a pass. Cool, just a personal pass. Horrible start. Uh, I'm just gonna Electro Power, and we're gonna Cynthia and hope for the best. Could've burned a Timer Ball, maybe I should've. As long as we didn't prize our other Jolteon, this is going to work out pretty well for us. Yeah, there we go. The opponent says well played, Kappa. Um, we will Nest Ball, I think, for maybe the other Eevee. Yeah. Get the other Eevee. We have the Jolteon in our hand. And we will Electro Bullet him. Not quite knocking him out. Next turn we can maybe knock him out, though. The Electro Bullet might have some well played wall. So they have the Volta Sun as a Strika, which they do, so we can't guarantee the two prizes if we do Electro Power. They're gonna nest ball. Get another Coco down. If he's playing E powers, he can definitely ramp up damage here, but if he's only doing 20, he is playing Electro Power. You hate to see it. Double Tails. Ah, uh, rip. I got my Electro Charger though. I would have played it, but again, I don't want to just risk the odds of not drawing into a supporter. He's gonna Energy Lotto again. It looks like he's going for Lily. No, he's gonna sprint. Alright, never mind. The Ditto going down. There's a Zapdos. So he's playing. Okay, he's playing his aggressive build. 
So we definitely need to draw into a supporter here. He's going to be able to Lily too. Holy cow, that was a good turn. And a choice band. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That's 80 to the active. That's scary. Yeah, we really need to get something going. Hopefully we can draw a supporter to help us out a little bit. If not, Jolteon is going to get eaten alive here. <laughs> True Aguzma. This game sometimes, man, I'm telling you. Alright, well, uh, we have to go ahead, Bolt. Or, no, Swift Run. We have to knock him out Swift Run because we get knocked out by Zapdos here. Let's see what our prize is. Skateboard, not helping. Really looking for a supporter. We need to get Luxio into play. Can I click it on my Discord file? Thank you. We need to get Luxio in play because we want to be able to item lock him and take out these Zapdos in one hit. We got one turn here of maybe saving our face a little bit. There's a Guzma. Kind of saw that coming. Does mean he can hit me on the bench, though, unfortunately. So we can Guzma, knock out Zapdos, knock out the Zepstrika, maybe. So he's gonna discard that. Played a lot of items so far. Sprint. I'm not really worried about Weavile. Most of the abilities won't be in place, so it's not the end of the world. And Electro Pop. Well, yeah, we're definitely in trouble. This is not good. I think I have to bring out the Sprint and then just hope he doesn't have a supporter. This is pretty bad, guys. I hate Brickin, but this is what happens when you only play nine supporters. There we go. We got a Lily. We're back in the game, hopefully. We're back in the game. I don't think we're going to lose this turn, so we should be safe. Shrine coming down. That's not good. We definitely need to get rid of that. He's going to knock out Zapdos here, it looks like, if he has an Electro Power or Choice Band. Actually, not even Shinx could be good, um, because Rule of Evil one-shots it. Just a flying flip. I don't know. There you go. What do we draw? Do a memory. Energy. So, I think we're going to have to play a bunch of cards here, just because we don't want to draw them. Double head, maybe? No. Okay, we got one Electro Power back. We definitely need to keep those. Alright, well, Lily here. Actually, no, we'll attach. We're just Lily. We need to draw as many cards as possible. No Shanks. Uh, we got Timer Ball. Get rid of probably Rope and Timer Ball. Let me get the Shanks. Or I can Marshadow. I think I grab Shanks. We have Electro Power Disconnect. And we force him to maybe do Rule of Evil, which doesn't affect my Jolteons. I'll play the Timer Ball just so I can thin. Whew, that was close. I thought I was going to get Double Tails. Knock him out the head bolt. Cool. Surprise gonna be Lost Ball. Not great. So let's see what he does. How many DCs has he played? I think two? Yeah, only two. So we'll get Luxio down. And we can start doing disconnect, hopefully. If he doesn't go for the rule of evil play. Which he might do. He's doing dance of ancients. Gotta hope there's no Lele in the deck either. A lot of damage on board. There's enough damage on board for him to knock out Jolteon and Shanks to take three prizes here. Got a stretcher, get back the Coco. Not the Blitzel line. That's kind of nice. He's relying on a Ranguru here, so this could be good if he doesn't find much. So let's see. Alright, he's going to struck for one. What's he going to do? Rule of Evil or Flying Flip? Or not, sorry, knock him out with Zapdos. I think he just knocked him out with Zapdos. And then we knock him out with Disconnect. That's pretty juicy. I want to bump the stadium, though. I don't want Jolteon to go down to Flying Flip Shine Span. We'll see if we can carry the game with a Luxray. Maybe get Luxray, get our other memory energy, get Luxray in play. Luxray is really good. It has a lot of health against Zapdos. And definitely against Flying Flip does no damage to you. No, he's actually going to Guzma. Oh, he ran out the Shinx. I see. He sees the Shinx target. That's fine. We got Nest Ball for another Shinx. These shrines are not good, though. We're taking a lot of damage. Ooh, the top deck 
of the century. Let's go. Alright. We will play this. Let's draw a nice big hand at six. So we can double shanks here. Do I want to do that though? Because then he just rule of evils me, but it's tempting. But yeah, I don't want to give him the double rule of evil KO. I think I just get Coco instead. I'd rather not give him double rule of evil. Do this. And I'm going to knock him out with the Jolteon. Uh, I might even build up Coco. Yeah, I think we will attach Coco. Just in case we need to attack with it. Just It's just in case. I know it's like weird that we're building up. I could have had bolted him, but I'd rather just knock him out. I'd rather save Electro Powers for Luxray. Or Luxio, sorry. Now, can we win this game? It's definitely possible. Even though he's going to be able to get four prizes here soon. We'll see if he goes for the legal play. So yeah, I didn't want to bench a Shanks. I don't want to give him two free prizes with this. Just would not be good. How many Electro Powers does that thing? Three? One, two... Two. No, it has been. It has. It's been three, right? No, he's got one back with electro charges. My bad. Nice. Found the energy for flying flip. Rip the dream. I guess it's good that he's having to like resource, um, really like thin his resources with the Ranguru to find his stuff. So we can disconnect him for ninety. Uh, I don't really like that though. Honestly, maybe it's best knock him out with Jolteon. I think it might be best knock him out with Jolteon. Now we can do Dance of Ancient. But again, I'd rather save Coco as a just in case type of thing. We'll Ultra Ball away the Switch and the Marshadow. Don't want Marshadow in play. We will grab Luxray. Can't put it down yet, unfortunately. We'll Lily for three. Oh, the triple electric power. We could have knocked him out of disconnect. That really sucks. I'm looking for Thunder Mountain, though. Looking for Thunder Mountain. But next turn, we will win the game. If he doesn't march out of me, we do have game. Because triple electro power means disconnect will knock out Coco. And I hope he goes for a flying flip here. And it looks like he's going to. Which means we should wrap this game up. Will he just do flying flip? He's going to ultra ball first. And it should be game unless he judges me or something. We can literally win the game with Luxio or Luxray. If we can draw Thunder Mount, we can or Memory Energy, we can win with Luxray. Come on, just knock me out so I can just triple E power you. Which is really lucky by the way. That's like insane luck that I have three electro powers in my hand. There's a Guzma, what's he gonna do? I'm gonna bring up the Luxray. Luxio. Oh, shoot, he actually takes three prizes here. Oh no, he doesn't. Never mind, he doesn't knock me out. Right. Whew, we win the game. I forgot. The oh, that is so close. That was a oh, that was close. Well, we will give him the well played. We're not gonna evolve into Luxray. Can I play? Thank you. And yeah, one electro power. Two electro power. Three electro powers. And a disconnect is indeed a game. Oh my gosh. Insane stuff just happened there. And that is going to wrap today's PCGO video, guys. Showing off Luxray, what it's all about. Showing off a Luxio combo. Uh, showing off Jolteon. Jolteon did a lot in this video, but I expected that. Um, that's why I like having the Jolteon instead of just like a Zapdos straight build. That was really close. That was a really close game. Um, I guess it's good that we whittled away that Zipstrika. Zipstrika would have just made him go insane on his deck. Weavile... Definitely was the only thing that was kind of scary there. I do think if we didn't Nest Ball for the Weavile, um, yeah, if we didn't Nest Ball for Coco and we got Shinks, we would have lost that game. So that was really good that we didn't give him two free prizes with Little Weevil. That's going to wrap this piece of video, though. Again, leave a like on the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to help me reach four or 5,000 subscribers. Guys. I keep forgetting we're close to 5K. I always forget that. But yeah, help me on the road to reaching 5K subs. My videos are in 60 FPS now, so hopefully it's a lot more beautiful. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Check our Car Cavern TCG. Use code LDF for 5% discount on your purchase. Seems good. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.